Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to install a tile roof tripod mount to a TV antenna. First of all, we want to make sure that you're not going too high on the roof. You need to be able to kick the tile just beside the one you're going to actually put the, the mount on. There's a need to be able to remove the tile and replace it if you do end up cracking it. And if you go too high to the top of, of the uh, roof, you won't be able to do that. So I've chosen this tile here I'm going to put the mount in. And I'm going to kick the one beside it to show you how these actually go in. So I've just kicked that tile up in my foot. If you come across here so we can see a bit closer. So if I put my hand in here, I can feel where there is a wooden roof pattern. Now it can be actually be a, a steel roof pattern as well potentially, but this one here is a wooden one, so they tend to be about this thick or this wide, so there's quite a bit of space there to pick it. So I'm just putting it, my uh, tripod mount on there like so. So I'm going to drill two holes through, which will go into that batten that we can fill back here. Now these ones, you basically you put it where the fold is, and that will get to the right location. So I'm using a hammer drill with a masonry bit, but I'm not using the hammer mode because I don't want to crack the tile. Now I'm going through the guide holes here, and I'm doing the uh, hole right on the very top of the ridge. I usually get started with the mount in place and remove the mount so it's not there, in the way. And now I need to go down at an angle where I'm going directly into the top of the tile so I'm going to hit that roof pattern. Okay, so I've just dropped through the first tile now and now I'm going to start drilling into the second tile. I'm going to let my drill bit cool for a little bit. I'm free. I hit the batten there. I can test that with a screwdriver just to make sure I've definitely hit the batten. And yes, I have. That's good. Let's move the dust away. Okay, so we've got the first hole in there now, and now we're going to do the second hole. So I'm just going to mark the position again the same way by the guide hole. But if you look at this one here, we actually have to go through four tiles. So there's the overlap of the tile beneath and then the same on the next tiles down. So you will actually go through four sets of tiles there and it will take a lot longer. And you've got to be careful on this one because if it is much thinner so it's more likely to crack. Okay, so I've hit the baton there again. Okay, so I've got rid of all the dust now. And now we need to fill our holes with silicon before screwing. So I've put a generous amount of silicon all the way down the hole. And then around on the top. Those holes. That's to stop water intrusion. Now I've got these 14 gauge hex head roofing screws. I'm just going to put them out down. Okay, so then we just put them both through the holes there. These are 90 mil screws. So 
We're taking a hex head driver and we're using a torque setting so that we don't crack the tile. We don't want to just keep going down until we just crack the tile. We just need to have it uh, knock off down the easily. Come across and have a look at this now. We have both of our hex head screws in there. They're not down too tight so the tile's not cracked, but they're firm in place and not going to move. Now I'm just going to cover those screws with silicon just to keep them all nice and secure against water ingress. Now another thing I will tend to do is put some silicon under the mount at the top here as well just to stop water flowing underneath the mount. And then I just use my finger to smooth it all out. Okay, so now having done that, we take our pole. So if we look at the pole here, it's got some holes at the bottom which go for this screw. Pole bolt. Slide it down through the, the collar. So we have to loosen off the collar first. Alright, so first of all we need to get the bottom bolt and nuts in. That just goes through the hole in the bottom of the pole. Sometimes a little hammer. Tap will fix that. Now in this case I'm just putting the washer back on. And then we can tighten that off. But first of all we need to get the pole level. So I usually just tend to push the pole back. And there's two ways you can do this. You can actually get a, an actual proper level and make sure the pole is perfectly vertical. However, I've tended to always just eyeball it. Now my reason for eyeballing it is that when someone looks at this pole, they're not going to be putting a level against it. They're going to be looking at every other pole nearby and if mine is different to those poles, they'll think my pole is out. But try and get it as straight as possible because you want to get a nice vertical pole and then we'll just try to off the spot at the top of the earth. So tighten off the tripod bracket first. That sets the angle. Okay, so that's our tripod mount completed. It's ready to go and put our antenna on top of it. 